With the release of Vivek Agnihotri's vaccine war, the focus is back on how India proved its mettle by developing and mass-producing effective COVID-19 vaccines in record time. The film focuses on the development of the indigenous Covaxin, developed by Bharat Biotech in collaboration with the Indian Council of Medical Research and the National Institute of Virology. The rapid development of effective vaccines was no mean feat. It was an incredible achievement for India to immunize nearly all its citizens with Made in India vaccines at a record time when much of the developing world was scrambling for doses. Samaj ke prabuddha logon se an often understated aspect of India's COVID-19 journey is that of the Modi government pushing for indigenous development of vaccines from the very beginning. Reportedly, Prime Minister Modi was very clear that India could not afford to rely on vaccines developed abroad as these were not necessarily going to be helpful for the Indian market. The apprehension was that the potential vaccines were not going to be trialled in India. They were likely to be costly and there would be no control over their supply with multiple governments competing to corner their share of the vaccines. Also, India was able to foresee a massive supply crunch as countries that develop the vaccines make it a priority to use them first before supplying doses to other nations. India was the first country in the world to unveil a public-private partnership for the development of vaccines against COVID-19 in early 2020. Prime Minister Modi was of the view that the entrepreneurial state of government would bear the front-loaded risks of the effort, cushioning the private sector. As early as February and March 2020, the central government set up a task force to develop an Indian vaccine. On the 5th of May 2020, Prime Minister Modi gave clear directives that there had to be a huge government intervention to aid the private sector in the development of COVID-19 vaccines. This came in the form of the Department of Biotechnology supporting 15 vaccine candidates with 100 crores in funds. The ICMR in July 2020 directed the fast-tracking of human clinical trial approvals for the vaccine candidate Covaxin, being developed in collaboration with Bharat Biotech. This was done keeping international standards and similar global practices in mind. This ensured that unnecessary red tape was eliminated from the process. The government was determined to project India's entrepreneurial spirit during the crisis. In fact, it was during the race for developing vaccines that the Atmanirbhar Bharat campaign was popularized. Ever since, India has taken a host of measures and policy decisions towards achieving its goal of self-reliance. India was wise enough to foresee the pressure that developing and underdeveloped nations would come under from Western vaccine manufacturers when it came to supply of doses. India provided COVID-19 vaccine shots free of charge at government clinics. In cases where Indians received doses of the COVID-19 vaccine from private clinics, they ended up paying much less than the average American. At the time that India rolled out its vaccination campaign, Covishield was priced at 200 rupees and Covaxin at 295 rupees. Bharat Biotech, the manufacturer of Covaxin, provided about 16.5 lakh doses free of charge to the government. To put this in context, at present, COVID-19 booster vaccine shots in the US cost as much as $200. India not only foresaw the predictable moves of Western pharma companies, but also saw an opportunity to help out nations that needed COVID-19 vaccines the most. In January 2021, India launched the Vaccine Maitri Initiative. This was a major diplomatic effort to gift and supply Made in India vaccines to low-income and developing countries globally. India offered support to more than 150 affected countries in the form of COVID vaccines, medical equipment and medicines during the pandemic. Under the Vaccine Maitri initiative, India has supplied over 30 crore vaccine doses to about 101 countries around the world. India laid a special emphasis on the supply of vaccine doses to countries in the global south. 
Indian vaccines were cheaper and more suitable for countries with weak storage chains and infrastructure. Both Pfizer and Moderna vaccines had to be stored at sub-zero temperatures, whereas both Indian-made vaccines can be stored between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. This further helped India build its image as a leader of the Global South. India's COVID-19 vaccine journey has been one in which the country woke up to its inherent capacity to make medical breakthroughs in a time-bound fashion, bar a massive immunization campaign all by itself, and still make room for supplying crores of vaccines to countries around the world. And all of this happened while keeping the cost of vaccines affordable. When one talks about vaccine wars, India will be remembered as an undisputed winner.